We start our visit yeah. at 7 a.m. over hard. breakfast. Oh, yeah. The only thing you need in the kitchen is a sharp knife, not a sharp tongue, and lemons. But the other mistake we make now, Alan, is eating black pepper. Ah, White well, pepper with an egg is much better. What's it? I mean, black pepper no. is just, you know... I think it doesn't matter. Well, it does, actually. It was time to head down to the studio, which is in the outbuildings of the family's organic farm, alongside the cafe, walled gardens and beautiful grounds, which are open to the public from May to September. You're on it, but I don't like to think too much when I'm painting, because once you start thinking, you become... It becomes trite or something. I, I can't really... Um, if I have to put into words what the painting is meant to be, it defeats the purpose. You know, a painting has to call you over to it. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't do that, well, it hasn't worked, you know. What sparked your interest in painting? Well, um, my sister came home from France with a box of oil paints. She spent a year there as an au pair in, France, in Paris. And she... It was the smell of the oil paints, I think, that maybe seduced me into becoming a painter. Exactly. How did you meet her? Um, um, well, I, I've been aware of her work. Yeah. But, um, I went up to her home in Shankill Castle in Kilkenny with um, a friend, uh, Dawn Williams, yes. creator of the Corporate, Mark Irene mm -hmm. Cork. We were um, uh, in, the, in, in quite late in final stages of putting on an exhibition on the nude in Irish arts. Yes. Going right back to the 18th century and beyond to she and the gigs in um, medieval Ireland. And, um, and we were very pleased as curators because we rather made our exhibition. Did um, it, yes. Um, uh, and um, we selected one of her pictures for the poster for the exhibition. And I think then Crawford went on to acquire um, um, a, several of, of her paintings yes. um, after the show. Yeah. Um, uh, her, her work is laden with, with meaning, but also playful. Um, yes. I, and I think to do to, to combine the uh, the charged, to, to heavily charged, meaning terribly serious work is, I think, again what sets her apart from so many artists working today. Yes. Uh, equally, these are museum pieces which stand on their own and and will do so in a hundred years' time. Our day was drawing to a close, and before dinner, I asked Elizabeth if Trina and I could have a quick tour of the basement, which is probably the most fascinating part of the house which stretches back to the 14th century. All these heads here. This is lovely, Trina. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm just made with love and sex and food. Well, delicious. that's true. It makes itself delicious. It's so lovely. As our cosy candlelit dinner continued into the night, I was conscious that this was a very special moment, shared with two genuinely kind-hearted individuals. I could plainly see that Elizabeth's daily routine can change instantly from artist to farmer to gardener, caterer, roof fixer, tour guide, bookkeeper, grandmother, innkeeper, and back again to her main passion of painting. <laughs>